Hey, what is up, everyone? And I'm here with another commentary about, you know, a serious topic coming on, you know, how Infinite Warfare will, you know, obviously change Call of Duty's history and its overall popularity. I know, I mean, I've said this in other videos, but man, the way it's going, like, if you go to Twitter, what Activision has put out is that there's, like, people saying, you know, oh, I just, you know, got to see Advanced Warfare in action, or I played Advanced Warfare, it was really good, but here's the fishy part. They all, you know, like, said it at the same time, like, like minutes between each other, and just, like, out randomly, just randomly people, I don't know, just random people. And I was going through Twitter, and I was like, what is this? And this is, this is, this is, I think this is what Activision is trying to do. They're trying to, you know, promote their content to make it seem like they're good because they know that their trailer has got mad hate, man. I'm talking about hella hate. And it's just going downhill. And I know not everyone will want to see it and not everyone will like it, but they're all about to get money, like, for real. Like, even though people don't like that Call of Duty game, they're still going to buy it. And that's the bad part about it, because if they make a sucky game and no one wanted it, then obviously it all comes down to, you know, how is it going to play? Is Battlefield 1 truly going to be the number one shooter? Or is Advent Infinite Warfare? Now, this is a touchy subject, and I know, but it's all for the, you know, you know just, I don't know, just weird. I don't know. I don't like it personally. I think it's going to be bad. I think it's going to be a bad, bad game. But, you know, who knows? It could be It could be one of the really good games, if you know. Now, the thing about this is it's going to be really bad. I know it is. It's going to have to be because, I mean, no one even wanted it. Like, no one wanted this game. They wanted it in a World War One type theme and Activision totally missed it or didn't miss it but you know they didn't want to do it because you know they thought this would make money and they wanted to please some other fans than what they wanted to and it's just stupid like I think it's so stupid what they did and I mean you gotta give them credit I mean at least they knew this was gonna be a risky 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 game and I'm pretty sure they knew that it's just that I don't know and it's just weird to be honest because you know Battlefield 1 can be the next big shooter I mean I've seen Battlefield Hardline and man is it not that good or pleasing as I should say I mean I've seen Hardline I've seen 4 they don't look that fun to be honest but Maybe Battlefield 1 will be a really fun game. You don't know. And and if this is the case, then Call of Duty is really going to lose fans. Like, hard love fans that love their content and love their, you know, you know their games. And now that is going to really affect their sales, man. And this is a really big topic because, oh my gosh, it's, it's just because they need fans need the Call of Duty. They want the Call of Duty to succeed, but with the path they're going on, it's not going to succeed at all. And that's the thing about it. Once it is over, it is over. Or maybe not. I, I could just be, you know, exaggerating and stuff, but, but for real. If Activision was going to make a game, they should have at least made it where the fans wanted it or took some fan advice from their content and from their franchise obviously they didn't do that and now they're screwed they're screwed right in the bum like anus anus screwed man they're just like oh god they're screwed and and if they don't do it next year like i'm talking about 2017 if they don't make it a really big call of duty then th their franchise is over well, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And, you know, I love to see your comments. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next time. And this is Peanut Butter Jelly, and I'm out. Bye.